Hey guys, uh, you know, I went in and thought about it and said, why not? Just go ahead and make a video about the gospel right now. Um, and, you know, if this takes off, you know, I, I definitely will start to make more videos in the future. Uh, I've really just had all this information, you know, you know, that I've discovered, you know, kind of just, you know, pit up you know in me like and I've just kind of decided like you know let me go ahead and just put this out here I'm not I'm not the type of person that really likes to go around talking to people face to face but YouTube allows me to actually you know talk to a a large audience you know without actually physically being there uh, so I want to talk exclusively today about again the gospel and the reason why deterring from it is 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 not correct um that we need to know the gospel in and out completely um it's what saves us today uh, I, i'm hearing people you know just, just so many people that are just breaking the gospel part or chopping it up saying oh we just need to believe this part and not this part uh there's people i know for example that pretty much deny the blood of jesus christ uh, they say stuff like, you know, yeah, you know, it's his death that saved us, you know what I'm saying? And I usually tell these people to elaborate what they mean. And they'll say, yeah, I just believe, you know, his death is what saved me. And I, I said, well, what about the blood? And they always looked at me like, what are you talking about, the blood? I'm like, well, the blood did something for you. Well, what did the blood do for you? And some people don't even know. You know, I, I didn't know for a long time. I recently just discovered the blood of Jesus Christ literally forgave us of our sins. Um, and that's what I want to take you to today. If you go to uh, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7, you can uh, read along with me. In, this is Ephesians 1 verse 7 in whom we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace right there plain and simple through his literal shed blood on that cross we have forgiveness of sins uh, so there's a lot of people that deny the blood and then on the other side there's people that you know they have a to them a another interpretation to where they believe they're receiving the blood of Christ when they believe and you know to that that's that's incorrect I'm, I'm sorry that's that's not right when you believe you're not receiving the blood of Christ you're receiving salvation but you're not receiving the blood of Christ the blood of Christ was shed in our world in reality you know we don't know I don't know 2000 you know whatever the time number was you know However, a number of years ago, he literally shed his blood on the cross. Um, so, you know, right there is the source of the entire world's forgiveness. We all have been, have been forgiven by the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Case, case in point, it doesn't require you believing that to get your sins forgiven. No, your sins were forgiven by Jesus Christ on the cross. And, you know reconciliation that's another thing that a lot of people don't really understand either i had to look that word up and i had to really study that uh again trey searcy from truth time really helped me discover what that what that was and i understand that now um because a lot of people it, it kind of goes hand in hand the reconciliation goes hand in hand with the uh forgiveness uh it's it's applied the same way god reconciled us the world to himself right uh, so same thing with his forgiveness you know we didn't have to Jesus Christ didn't ask people individually hey do you want me to die for you you know he didn't do that he didn't ask them individually you know do you want me to forgive you 
You know what I'm saying? He just did it. He just forgave us on the cross. He chose to do that. He did that. He didn't have to, but he did it. So this whole movement of people and I and, and you know, these are a lot of these are Baptists that believe this. And I used to be a Baptist myself. <laughs> Along with I was a Baptist growing up with my mom. Uh went to the military and where I was at in the military, I went to a seven day Adventist church in Okinawa, Japan. Became a seven day Adventist. Uh, had a friend that was going to a uh, another church there in Japan. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think they had any denomination, but he he brought me out of that. And uh, like I said, I bounced around from church to church all my life. And then um, just kind of going along, didn't really understand what I was believing. I, I really didn't. And and sadly, many people in the world are you know just like me, way out way I used to be. I mean, they are now just. Going along with family, going along with friends, not really even understanding what they're reading. And um, that is why I just wanted to discuss on this video the importance of not deterring from the gospel. The gospel is its the only thing that saves you. It's the good news that was given by revelation to Paul for us today. Uh, there's many different gospels in the Bible if, if a lot of people don't know that. You know, a lot of people say, well, there's only one gospel, you know. No, there's there's different gospels. There was Jesus was preaching the gospel when he was walking the earth, you know. But after he died, you know, he was resurrected on the third day. Uh, when he went up to heaven, he gave revelation to Paul about you know this new gospel he was giving you know to him to uh, to understand. Uh, there's even verses that explain that. What was given to Paul was a mystery that uh, had never been made known before. You know, it had been hidden since the beginning of the world. So, he Jesus was now revealing it to Paul for us. We are, you know, his body today. The mystery of the body of Christ. You know, if you believe the truth today, the true gospel, you are in the body of Christ. Um... So that's why I just want people to understand concerning the gospel. And, I, and I'll go ahead and go there so people can understand what the gospel is. It's going to be 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Okay. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, but which also ye are saved if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye, ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Now, a lot of people would take that, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, those little verses, but they don't, apply the blood and you know as I just read in those verses there's nothing even talking about the blood right so some people will say well I just need to know that I don't need to know anything about any blood you know the blood is very critical it's, it's very important like I read in Ephesians 1 7 that's where the source of your forgiveness is from it's literally from his shed blood so a lot of people today, people are, are preaching bloodless gospels. Uh, they're not putting the blood in their gospel at all. They may be reading this and not telling anyone about the blood. I've been to many churches that never even mentioned about the blood. And it's sad because like this verse just said, I'll go back. I want to go to the believe in vain part. Um, let's go and see. By, okay, this is 15, verse 2. By which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preach unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. So, for example, what would be believing in vain? Uh, you know, vain is, you know, something useless, you know what I'm saying? And useless, or you could say self, believing in yourself, either one. If you're not believing the full gospel, it, it does nothing for you. Um... For example, you got people that don't believe in the resurrection. If you believe your sins were forgiven, 
but you don't believe Jesus Christ resurrected, you're still in your sins. You're not believing the full gospel. You see what I'm saying? You're believing a part of it, but not the entirety of it. So, not deterring from the true gospel today is what is important. We need to understand today that there's one gospel for right now. I just read it. But along with that, you need to understand what the blood did for you. Because that's how you were forgiven of your sins. Uh, that's it, you know. And understand, you know, a lot of people today are mixing doctrines. You know, I, I've heard the term called mud from a lot of people I've heard. Mixed up doctrine. They're mixing doctrines from... Matthew, Peter, and, and, and jamming that into Paul and just different things that don't apply at all. Not not seeing the chronological, you know, like a story. It, it, it's chronological. You, you don't mix it up. So that that that's the problem that I see uh, with everyone concerning the gospel. For example, like I pre like I was talking on the other video. There's people that believe all their sins are forgiven, but they, at the same time, they don't believe all their sins are forgiven because they say, oh, blasphemy the Holy Ghost. I don't have to worry about that. They don't even believe that sin was forgiven because they're still thinking Jesus Christ is looking at this sin as it's unforgivable. But remember, that was before he died. After he died, he resurrected, he revealed to Paul, you know, I've forgiven, having forgiven all trespasses. All your trespasses are forgiven. So that's the importance of rightly dividing and understanding. Uh, you know, we need the, to know the entirety of the gospel, not parts. So that that's one thing I, I, I really want to stress is, you know, the gospel. And, you know, just many people today, is, it's so sad that I look on different things on, on YouTube or, you know, even churches I've gone to where just some of the craziest things I'm hearing are being preached. For example, this I went to a church here in Greensboro, North Carolina, and they really, I'm sitting there in, you know, in the church, just listening to the preacher talking, and he literally said, oh, Jesus Christ only died for select people. He only died for believers. That's a lie. You know, how do I know that? Instead of just believing, you know, my opinion or anyone else, I go to the verses, he died for the world. You know, W-O-R-L-D, the world, everybody. Not select groups of people. He died for the entire world. So what does that mean? That means his shed blood was for what? The entire world. That means forgiveness of sins for was for the entire world. That happened, whether you believe that or not. But it is required, God does require you to believe that your sins have been forgiven so you can be let's talk about for example for this video ends uh, the sealing of the Holy Spirit actually I might have to I might have to discuss that on a, on, on a future video I want I want to give these verses to you so you can, you know, not just believe my word or my pen or what I say about it. I really stress, you know, going by the Bible and not a person's opinion. Um, on another video, I will talk about, you know, the sealing of the Holy Spirit. That's what happens after you believe. When you believe, when you believe, you're sealed with the Holy Spirit. And, uh, you know, you can go look this up online. You can even go to, you know, just type in Google, type in sealing of the Holy Spirit, you know, KJV uh, Bible, you'll be able to find out. It'll it'll point you to the verses that talk about sealing with the Holy Spirit. Because um, a lot of people get that mixed up too. You know, they don't even understand what that means. Because there's people today that believe that you can lose your salvation. You know, which in this dispensation right now, you you cannot lose your salvation. God is not going to break what He said. Uh, in other time, in time past, yeah, uh, when Jesus Christ was alive, walking the earth, uh, in Abraham's time, um, Noah's time, uh, yeah, you could 
people weren't sealed with the Holy Spirit. Uh, this time we live in right now is amazing. We're saved by grace through faith. It, it's, it's truly amazing. And when you're sealed with the Holy Spirit, that's it. You, you're sealed. But uh, I'll definitely go ahead and discuss that on, the, on future videos. But I uh, want to thank all who, who, you know, you all saw this video. And I just hope it, it helps you out. And uh, that, that's what I'm doing this for. You know, just I was lost. I, you know, I just want people to know the truth. All right. Everyone take care. Have a good day.